everyone, Tom Staley here, and today we're going to be talking about when and how to enroll in Medicare, specifically talking about Parts A and B, a Medicare supplement, prescription drug plan, or a Medicare Advantage plan. Stay tuned. One quick note before we begin, if you have employer health insurance through either your employer or your spouse's, your enrollment in Medicare could look quite different than what we're going to talk about today. So I encourage you to check out my other video on that topic, which is called How Medicare Works with Employer Coverage. A quick review of our Medicare options. On the left, we have Original Medicare, which is Part A and B through the federal government. One would typically go on to add on a standalone prescription drug plan and also a Medicare supplement. On the right side, we have Medicare Advantage, or Part C. And with this option, you're receiving your Part A and B benefits through a private insurance company, and they typically include prescription drug coverage. I have multiple videos that talk about these two different options in great detail, but today we're specifically talking about how to enroll. So uh, in either case, you can see that whichever option you choose, the first step is going to be enrolling in Part A and B of Medicare. So that's where we'll start today. So let's assume you're approaching 65, you don't have any employer insurance, and you're ready to enroll in Medicare. Well, the best time to do that is called your initial enrollment period, and it's a seven-month window surrounding your 65th birthday month. For example, John is turning 65 in October. When can he enroll in Parts A and B? Well, he gets the three months before his 65th birthday, which are July, August, and September. Then he gets the month of, which is October and the three months after, November, December, and January. Now, even though John can enroll within the three months before, the earliest his coverage can start is the first day of his 65th birthday month, which is October 1st. Now, there's one catch to that, and that is if John's birthday is on October 1st, then his coverage will actually start up September 1st, or the month prior. Now, I will say that if you want your coverage to start up as soon as it can, which is October 1st for John, then you want to hit the first three months, okay? Because if you wait until October, your coverage won't start up until November 1st. And furthermore, if you wait until November, December, or January, it's pushed out even further. So let's talk about how you enroll in Medicare. Well, it comes down to the question, are you collecting Social Security? If you are not, you must reach out to the Social Security Administration to enroll, and you can do that over the phone or online. If you are collecting Social Security, you will automatically be enrolled. Let's assume that John is collecting Social Security. He's going to receive his red, white, and blue Medicare card a couple months before October. And on that card, it's going to say Part A effective 10-1 and Part B effective 10-1 of the year. Now that John's enrolled in Part A and B, Let's say that him and I have gotten together, we've done our planning, and we've realized that original Medicare is the best option for John. Typically, the next step would be enrolling in a Part D prescription drug plan. You can see John gets the same exact seven-month window to enroll in a drug plan. And the best way to do that is Medicare.gov's Plan Finder tool. I have a whole video on how to use that tool, and that's what I use when I sit down with clients. So there's no better tool out there for shopping prescription drug plans. For those of you not taking any prescription drugs, you might think that, you know, you might not need a drug plan. Well, here's the thing. If you don't enroll in a drug plan when you first turn 65 and you don't have any coverage through an employer, well, Medicare is going to charge you a late enrollment penalty when you go to sign up for one in the future. So uh, it's something you definitely want to avoid. That penalty is expensive and you pay it for the rest of your life. So again, if you're not taking any drugs, I suggest you at least enroll in a plan that has a low premium to avoid that late enrollment penalty. Part D drug plans do have an annual enrollment period, and it's October 15th through December 7th. And during that time, essentially you get a chance each year to go into that tool, retype in your drugs, and shop the plans again. And this is an important time, and I always, I always reach out to all my clients at this time because even if your drugs don't change, uh, the plans change each year, so it's very, very important to review. Now John is ready to go on and add a Medicare supplement, and if you're not sure what that is, that's a plan that's offered through a private insurance company that comes in and covers a few of the gaps left behind by Part A and B of Medicare. I have multiple videos covering Medicare supplements in depth, so be sure to watch those as well. The window for this is called the Medicare Supplement Open Enrollment Period. And it's a one-time only six-month window. 
And this starts up when John is both 65 and enrolled in Part B. So for John and most people, that's going to be October 1st or the first day of your 65th birthday month. Um, this is a very, very special window because during this time, you can purchase any Medicare supplement you want with any company you want, and you don't have to answer any health questions. The only question they can ask you is if you are a tobacco user or not. Since this is such a short window and you only get it once in your life, I spend a lot of my time working with clients at comparing quotes, looking at different companies, because it really is a big decision and you've got to spend some time to make sure you get it right. Unlike the Part D prescription drug plan, there are no annual enrollment windows for Medicare supplements. This means you can apply for coverage or switch coverage at any point during the year, but on your application, you must now answer health questions. And for Medicare supplements, depending on the company, they can be pretty strict. There's basically two pages of, of yes or no questions, and if you answer yes to any of them, then you're simply not going to get coverage. So I want to loop this back to the Medicare supplement open enrollment period because, remember, we didn't have health questions at that point. So whenever I'm sitting down with clients, I tell them that whatever decision we, we make, we need to assume that you're going to have that plan for the rest of your life because, you know, we don't know what your future is going to hold. So you might not be able to add on a Medicare supplement or switch plans in the future. Finally, let's assume that John wants to enroll in a Part C Medicare Advantage plan. He must first enroll in Part A and B in Medicare, but he'll get the same seventh month window to enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan. Similar to the Part D prescription drug plans, Medicare Advantage plans also have the annual enrollment period, which is the same window, October 15th through December 7th. During that time, you can switch from original Medicare to a Medicare Advantage plan, vice versa, or if you already have a Medicare Advantage plan, you can switch to a different one. Additionally, Medicare Advantage plans also have an open enrollment period that runs from January 1st to March 31st each year. And the only difference between this period and the previous one is that you cannot go from original Medicare to a Medicare Advantage plan during this time. That's all I have for you today. I hope you found this video helpful. And as always, if you have any questions, please give me a call or shoot me an email.